they were going to be talking about an entire grow light system that will grow over 216 plants for less than $100. For today's project, we're going to need to purchase a couple of things. Uh, you're going to need some one inch PVC pipe cut up in the following lengths. We need two pieces that are 57 inches long, like these two. We need four pieces that are 14 inches long. Then you need four more pieces that are cut to eight inches long. Then you need two pieces that are only four inches long. And then you're gonna need to purchase four one inch tees, four one inch elbows, and four one inch end caps. I purchased all these at Lowe's. You're gonna need two hyper tough four foot, 3200 lumen LED shop lights. Uh, at this current time, you can purchase these at Walmart for under $15 a piece. And all they are is just a simple little LED light. And we'll need two of them for this project. We'll need a simple timer from Walmart and a power strip. You don't have to get a power strip like this. You can get one that's just got a simple three little plugs. We just need something that the power can go into this and come out. We need to be able to plug in our heat mats and our and our LED lights. The heat mats that I have here are the Vivio Sun heat mats. You can get these off Amazon. I'll have a link in the description. Now let me show you how we assemble all this. To assemble this, we just want to We'll start out making our legs. We'll get one of our one of our eight inch pieces of PVC pipe and we'll take a T and just put a T on there with it. And then we're gonna get one of the little four inch pieces and slide it on there. And then add another T to it. And then once again, take another one of the eight inch pieces and slide it on there. Now on mine, on the ends, I like to just put an end cap on it, put it one on that side and one on that side. You don't have to buy this and put this on there. I just think it makes it just look at this a little bit better. Now none of this are we going to be gluing together because the because to get these seeds to sprout, it only takes about a month till they're ready to plant. And after that, this is in our way, and we want to be able to break it down and store it away. So once we get one leg built, we'll go ahead and assemble another leg. We'll do it the same way. Now we have both of our legs built. So now then we're going to take our our 14 inch piece and we're just going to stick them right in there. And you'll see why we do this here in a minute. Why we've got two instead of one. You can actually do this with one light, but I like to have a little bit more coverage so I use two lights. And then at the end of our pipe, we're going to put an elbow and put one on this one. Like so. And then we have our complete leg built. Let me do the other one real quick. I'm going to zoom back just a little bit where I can show you me putting the, the longer 57 inch pieces together. So now here we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this 57 inch long piece and just push it right in there like so. And we'll go ahead and take our other one and put it in there. 
There we go. Now we stand it up. I'm gonna let you look right down the middle of it, and we're just gonna get the other one. And just connect it. Now then, there we go. We got our stand totally assembled. And it's pretty pretty sturdy. It's sturdy enough to hold these shop lights up that we're going to put up. So now let's go on to that part. All right, now that we've got our uh, stand configured, we'll go ahead and put our shop lights on. So these shop lights come with a, a chain with them. What I like to do is just hook it in there. And I'll just bring it around. And it comes with these little S hooks. It's real simple just to put it in there. And I just connect it onto the last little Flats there, then I come down here and just repeat. That's pretty good. Now let's do the another line on the other side. So what I was talking about a while ago is we'll take this little hook that's on the chain and I'm just going to just slide it in there and that's enough just to hold it. And we'll take our little S hook and put it on there. And just connect it in there and let's do the other side. I like to take my hooks that's in my lights and turn them, turn them this way instead of that way or this way. And that way the light kind of, instead of sitting flat, it kind of tilts like that. That way I'm getting the middle and I can, my plants that's out here, I can get light on them also. So I'm gonna, see that's kind of sitting flat? Well, once I turn it, you see how it turns up? And that's the way I want it. And that's all we got to do to set our lights up. And then what I want to do is I need these lights to come on at a certain time. So I get a power strip to be able to plug my lights into. Like I said, you don't have to have one like this. You can have uh, one that has multiple little just two little prongs that will plug into the side of this meter. Uh, well, this meter, what you want to do is you want to have, if it's pulled up, that means that's the time that it's going to be off. And the when it's down, that's the time that it's going to be up. We want this running for 16 hours a day. So when I've got the pins, you pull these up on this 
right here and that's the time that it turns off so I got mine gonna cut off at 10 o'clock at night and then it won't come back on till 4 o'clock in the morning I can actually have it where it cuts off during the day because it because you're getting sun on it but if you're inside or indoors you're gonna want to keep light on it all the time so it's better just to do it like this now you can plug this into your power and then we're gonna plug our lights into this portion right here So like I said, I'll plug this portion into that. And then I'll hook this up to the power like that. So let me go back and set the time on it. So it's almost three o'clock. So I'll leave it right there. Now my lights on. I've got good lights down here in my plants. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the these heat mats that we was talking about. Uh, this is this is very very important. Uh, you would think that you could just do this and just get away with it. You can't. To be successful, you've got to have a heat mat. And what I do, this thing is made to take a whole big long tray and lay it this way. However. I don't do that. I found out I can lay it this way, and this heats up the plastic inside of the uh, the grow trays, and it heats it all up, and it works just fine. So I take one and I set it right here, and then I take another one and I turn it the opposite way, and I set it right there. And I plug this up. This needs to stay on continuous power, so I don't plug it into my power strip that I had, I, I have a, I plug it up and have different power for it. Now these don't get real hot. You can place these on any surface. You ain't gonna worry about burning it. It don't get as hot as a, uh, like a heating pad. It just gets a little bit warm. So there it is, it's all set up and ready to go. Now in our last video, we uh, planted these this little grow tray. This is a little small one. I usually use the bigger ones than this one. I use the ones that have the 72 pellets in it. But for right now, this is, I just needed a few extra things. So this is what I'm gonna put under here. So I'll just set that up under my mat, up under my lights on the tray and just set the lights on it and let it go. So earlier in the video, I said that you could use this to grow 218 plants, but realistically, you could actually put a fourth tray right there to have a total of 288 plants. Um, but you can see how well they've done in this system already. Uh, these are a little bit older, and these are a little bit newer, and these are ones we just have planted so they're ready to start coming up but this same system will work great for that uh, just imagine that this right here was um if you were to buy two plants at lowe's or walmart they run about four to five dollars a piece for a pot with two plants in it and look here what you're getting already you can see where i've done took a couple out i'll come over here and show you what they look like being planted so here's my little garden bed I've got and I planted some squash and zucchini and these right here I grew from seed uh, in February I started this in February and you see what I did so you can grow seeds year round you can even have a business growing seeds if you like it's great having dogs out here barking i apologize about that but as you see we can have a successful garden planting off seed you can be guaranteed to get seeds to sprout and save money by having your own grow light system well thank you for joining me god bless you and i hope you have a great day